Hello and welcome to Mike in the Morning. This is going to be a relatively short episode. I had a very busy week. I'm very tired, but my favorite part of the week is hanging out with you guys. So I'm going to do this. Going to be kind of truncated. Then we'll get back to hitting it. Bam! Hard. On Tuesday. And obviously you could always subscribe for more episodes. But today I'm going to start with a very special thing. Very something that's near and dear. Very... Too many varies near and dear to my heart. This is three of the most annoying things that can happen in public. One, very, very simple. Someone watching a video with the sound on full blast on their phone. Something about the sound, and I don't mean to exaggerate, there are high frequencies that come out of those Lily cell phone speakers that are the worst. And when you hear it across a diner or a, when you're trying to eat at, at a diner and all of a sudden you're listening to a fucking movie trailer for something that you know you're never going to see. And then you look around and you're like, where the fuck could this possibly be coming from? And it's always coming from somebody sitting with a group of people. There's one person doing the open mouth smile. That happens far too often. Two, people in a group taking pictures individually in front of anything. We drove by one of our favorite breakfast spots and outside of that breakfast spot was a group of friends and they were asking each other to take pictures of them singularly, class pictures, in front of this breakfast place. And they all did the, look how cool this breakfast place is, pose. Look at where I was today. With whom? You'll never know, because they were all individual pictures, like you were shooting baseball cards or some shit. I'm worried that, okay, why are you taking pictures by yourself? You went with this group of people, maybe there's four of you. Take a picture with your friends. Do you... Do all of your friends hate each other? Were you watching a video reel lot at breakfast? Who's like, I want to remember this morning forever by myself? This place was amazing. Everything. The eggs. The uh, Benedict. I want to remember everything exactly how it was, except for who I was with. Because you guys are the worst. Make sure the flash is on. Do a vertical and horizontal. Those people are tripods that you could eat breakfast with. Take your tripod to breakfast day. Hashtag national take your tripod to breakfast day. <laughs> if you ever see somebody doing that, and you will if you live in Los Angeles, but I'm sure it happens all over the place because everybody has a cell phone. Please take a picture of that happening. A group of people taking individual pictures in front of an establishment. Hashtag it. Hashtag national take your tripod to breakfast day. Because that'll probably alleviate all the stress that it's giving me. Lastly, and I just kind of realized that this bothers bothered me yesterday, but it bothered me to such an extent, so deeply, when <laughs> I was at this hotel and they had an automatic dispenser for the soap. Let's go ahead and get a quick zoom in on that. And the faucet was manual. You had to turn on the faucet with your hand, but the soap dispenser was automatic. What the fuck? And then the paper towels were in something where you had to like dig down like elbow deep in paper towels. I just can't get over the logic. Like, well, we can't have your dirty hands touching the soap dispenser. Go ahead and grab a hold of this metal apparatus, though. That's fine. Metal apparatus. Metal apparatus. Do you go big or go home? Everything is automatic or nothing is automatic. You touch nothing or you touch nothing everything because this is a shortened episode i thought we'd do something real special so here is a brand new segment called fun tent out here in palm springs california it is the desert uh they do have walls that look like this there are so many fountains there's like one fountain for every six people so we're gonna go through we're looking at all these fountains uh in a new segment i like to call fun tent uh, first up is this one. This is a beautiful fountain. One of my favorite types because it's a nature-based fountain. These are just rocks. You find rocks and then you put apparatuses underneath that make water come out. So when you drive through the desert and you look at this, your first thought is, where the fuck is that water coming from? And you're saying that's magical water. This is a magical resort. I'm in a real mirage type situation. This is a super popular type of fountain. This is called the Aztec Ascension Fountain. As you can see, there are a bunch of Mayan style steps and it leads right up to the lobby. What a comforting vision for the eye to come from level ground and say, I want to have a resort experience. You have to ascend to that just in life. You don't come out of a vagina into a place like this. You work for it. And that is what these represent. 
Probably. This is another good nature boy right here. Ric Flair. Nature based design. Mountainous. I've been calling this one the aggro. The aggro crag. Bit of a stretch. Just like the aggro crag. Uh, again, where's the water coming from? Deep. It looks like a fancy mini golf course should be constructed around this one. Fountain's the heart of the city. Fountain's Broadway. What's around Broadway? An Irish bar and some newsstands. They actually built the rest of this resort around this fountain. Fountain was here first. What a beautiful centerpiece. You know what I'd love to do is I'd love to throw some, maybe some bass in here. Or like a piranha. Just watch them. Have their way with anyone trying to get cute with a penny. This isn't here for wishes. This is here to make sure your, your stay is as comfortable as possible. And that's how you achieve it with a nature-based fountain. Call these little bubbling, where is it at? Little bubbling boys. You're like, what's under this? Is it a geyser? Is it maybe a indigestion with a fish? Is a whale maybe doing stuff? to his wiener underneath the water, but it's not. It's actually just a pump. But otherwise, this shit would just be flat, glassish, still standing water, then you get skeeters. And everybody knows what you say, if there's a skeeter on your premises, whack it off. This is very easy to overlook, it's just like, let's put some more rocks it's around and inside the rock. But that's not what this is. This actually acts as a speed bump for the water. Such a vital part of how fun a fountain is that the, the water's not going too fast. Slow down, where are you headed? Seek your own level. So it's pleasing to the eye. Articulously pleasing water flowing at an octif oct optimal speed. Over here, this is fun. Over here, we got four piddlers. We're running off a four piddler system here. You got the top water, you got the bottom water. You need something to mix it up a little bit. Piddler on the roof. When you spit water through your teeth in a pool, that's what this art is giving us. So I don't have to tell you what these are. You're already familiar. These are called Sloppy Steps. Sloshy and they're wet. You can listen to the sound. A lot of the name comes from the sound. I'm so honored to be in the, these uh, presents and to bring them to you. This is a golf fountain because of where it is located. It's in the middle of a golf course. Normally, if this is a standalone fountain, it's referred to as a Peggy Bundy. They planted this Peg Bun right in the middle of this um, beautiful, pristine golf course. And now you you can finally look forward to the next hole. And here's a fun little addition. This uh, resort, as well as a bunch of other resorts, will actually have fish. They'll deposit fish into the pond so you can have family fishing time. And uh, for the right price, I've seen them do all kinds of different animals. A family brought their dog, they tossed the dog in, and they have to save them with a pole. You can throw the dog a lifesaver. I think they did it with a cat once. And the cat didn't love it, but the family had a lot of fun. And I think they were thinking about getting a divorce, and they didn't after that. If, the, if you have a resort, I don't know how many of the viewers of the morning show actually have a resort, but it's it, this thing saves families. The only thing about these golf fountains is there's normally a bunch of golfers. So, um... joining today as always you could ascribe for more if i've never said it out loud first of all thank you second of all this show comes out every tuesday and every friday some of you know that according to the analytics you go to your subscriptions tab and you click on it you say these are the people that i follow and these are all the videos that they've come out with and you guys find me in there so thank you thank you if you've ever made an effort to go find one of my videos. I really appreciate it. If you feel like making an effort and telling somebody else about it, you could do that. If you don't, I'm not going to be mad. I'll be hurt, but I won't be mad because those are two different feelings. I will be hurt, though, for sure. Maybe just don't ever tell me that you've never told anyone else about what we have here. <laughs> what else annoys you? I want to know what annoys you. I want to know if you got any good ones. Maybe we'll share some of them. Zoe, do you have anything that people do in public that really annoys you real bad? So I said when people are out to dinner and they don't realize that they're scream talking in a quiet restaurant. <laughs> that is pretty good. You know what's funny about those is you can only hear the one side of the conversation. Some she said right. Maybe you hear a mumble, somebody else is like, Oh guys, we got a very nice one last Tuesday with our families. And then the other person's like, Yeah, yeah, I was there. I grew up around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Thank you for your contribution, Zoe. Uh, I hope you all have a lovely, what day is it? Friday. I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Tweet me. Let me know how you're doing. Happy Mother's Day as well. Mom, you watch the show. Thank you so much. Sorry for swearing. I will call you shortly. I'll, I'll call you shortly because you're only five foot two. So I'm going to hang it up forever. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today. It's Mike in the morning.